It's your ASMR friend, just checking in on you. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to Everspace in 2021. I mentioned this in a previous video, how I'm terrible at flying in games. I thought Everspace sounded right up my alley when I first got it, but I only played it a little bit and never got the hang of it, couldn't get into it, and ultimately gave up on it. And I didn't realize that we got a party. I didn't realize that it was a roguelike at the time, which I have grown to like a lot, the roguelites, which is kind of a, um, sort of like a revolution for my gaming, because I very much dislike dying in video games. But roguelikes, that's kind of the point. And so it's um, opened me up in a way there. So, I think one of the problems that I had with this game was that, uh, you know, like I said, the controls, massive shout out to the guys at Switch Up, they did a review on this game and mentioned changing the control scheme. And that, I don't even really remember what the first one was, but this one feels very good. So I can change my view. So you can kind of do where there's nothing on screen except for your crosshair and the HUD above, or you can do this to see your ship, so you can see, you'll just, you can stop, hover, completely still, move forward, go down, go up, you can boost, To me, it almost feels kind of like a regular shooter, not a flying shooter, which has made a world of difference for me, because I actually feel like I get the hang of it, but I prefer this view inside the cockpit, you know, as a big fan of Star Wars gives me those kind of vibes, makes me feel immersed in this world, in space. So you're probably wondering what I'm doing. I am searching out and mining, 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 mining. certain uh, items. So I'm going to go to this crystal. So you'll find these things inside asteroids or outside. And once you get closer, that's when you will be able to see them. And the reason you want to look for these is because well, it being a roguelike, you can A, find potential items to put onto your ship, or materials to um, either craft or update certain items on your ship. So, 
You want to look for asteroids. You want to look for freighter wreck like this up ahead. And, uh, I mean, how wonderful is this? Right? So, if it's glowing yellow, shoot it. You'll find stuff in there. Else. That looked like it. Hmm. Well, let's go that way. You can lock on to your enemies, which will come in handy. Yeah, so what I like about this game, you know. Why I think I have problems with most flying games is when I'm trying to turn and you'll end up barrel rolling and you try to turn around and you get all disoriented. But with this one, I feel very much in a good control. I feel like I can maneuver the way I want to. This controller scheme, the third one, that you choose from the options just seems to be the most intuitive for me. I was able to pick it up right away doing that. So there we go, we got an item. So if we press A, and I think that maybe you can unlock more over time, but you can only have two at a time for right now. So I can either swap the sensor relay for my shield or my weapon overdrive. And hmm. well, it's passive. It'll pick up things. Yeah, let's swap it for my weapon overdrive and then we'll salvage the weapon overdrive. A few more things to find. Adaptive armor. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to salvage this and then. Uh, as you can see, I will get four pieces of scrap and three plasma. So, let's see our luck for this one. And nanobots. Yes. Nanobots, if you press the minus button, nanobots are used to repair I think I'm going to hold off because I'm not in terrible need of it right now. So, nanobots are very good. Crystal over there. And if it's in red like that, it means that you're already full. So, we wouldn't be able to pick it up. Definitely always use missiles. And I think. Oh, you can only have 20. Alright, that's alright. And then this green, if I just focus my crosshair on it, this will bring us to the next stage. And as you can see, we can choose to jump to the left or to the right. Let's just go here. Hmm. 
new level, and as it being a roguelite, it is generated new each time. So, you never can predict it necessarily. We're gonna have to. Oh, I'm already being shot at. That's all right. We'll take care of him. And let's let him know we mean business. And I realize that when you're not the one controlling this. All these fast movements may not be um, necessarily pleasant on the eye, so I hope it's not too bad, but you have to constantly be moving, looking around. Shield breaker missiles. I prefer the light missiles, so I'm going to salvage those. And, oh, this is kind of nice. I like this aspect of it, too. The red guys are bad. The yellow guys won't attack you unless you attack them first. And as you can see, they're battling each other. So I'm going to let that go and head over here to see if I can find anything. Oh. Take this guy out first. Why am I not shooting? Am I shooting? Okay. Oh, right, right, right. More scrap. So, got two containers here. Yes, nice. Some credits. More shield breaker missiles to salvage. Got some scrap. I mean, how awesome is this? If you like the space exploration and Roguelikes, like, I was very wrong about this game. Once you change that control, at least for me, once I change the controls, it's like, oh, this is actually super fun now. This is what I thought flying in space could be, you know. So, yep, yeah, there we go. Is that underneath? Some nanobots, very nice. There we go. All right. Some power cells. Oh, and then you can hack this, and they'll give you some information. Being shot at? No. Alright. Mm, let's see. Worthwhile looking at. Doesn't really look like it. So, let's go to the next section. I always like this part. And, well, we can only go to there, so travel there. Oh, oh. looks like we're going to fight right away. Oh, we're a little bit 
for than I thought. But still. Oh, look at that. Some nanobots. And a drone overdrive. Override. Oh, well, I might as well. I can use that now. Or not. Well, it's a salvage of them. Oh, okay. There's quite a few over here. There's so many of them. There's too many of them. Send a missile right to them. Now. Let's go. Get him, get him, get him. You see the green bar under my crosshair? That's the energy. So it takes energy to shoot, so, and it will take a little bit to recharge that, so. You can uh, get into a sticky situation if you're not letting it cool down. That's why missiles are also nice, because it can help kind of give you a breathing room. With nanobytes. Awesome. Mine some fuel, yes, please. The fuel is what you need to make jumps to that green circle. So it's good that we found some. I'm not going to pick this up, but I'll salvage it. Okay. I mean, it's not too bad, but I just like what we have right now. him down as well. <laughs> oh yeah. Those credits. And then, oh interesting. Plasma mine instead of a shield booster. Nah, we'll salvage that. Shield disruptor. Salvage that as well. So, if 
we go through this plasma field, you guessed it, we'll get plasma. So, that would be good. And I think we can get more. So here's a service station. There you can use credits to, I think, refuel, repair. And since I don't need to do any of that, I'm not going to go there. Let's go to this. Instead, there's definitely going to be something here. All right. Perhaps nothing inside. Anything in here? Very dark, isn't it? There we are. Um, yeah. What do we get? Fuel and scrap. We'll look at this too. Alright. Some good stuff. Yes. Always like getting credits. Now let's see. I think that I can upgrade stuff. Yeah. So I'll get a shield damage mod. So, it's as it sounds, I'll be able to do a little more damage towards enemy shields with my pulse laser. Oh, I pass them. There we go. Oh, wow. All right. Let's see. What are these guys doing? Oh my gosh. Almost left some credits behind. Is there anything else? All right, I feel good about moving on. So, obviously, you can see I'm playing on easy, but even still, doing pretty good on health and shield, so pretty thankful for that. And now that we're in the last part of the first section, in order to get to the jump gate, you actually have to fly the ship to that location. We're going to take this drone out first before we go into that asteroid. Oh, be careful for these red dots, these space mines, not land mines, right? Mm 
button, another container. I'll salvage that. This plasma field, get some plasma. And then let's see if we can upgrade or perhaps build new missiles. See if I can upgrade. Nope. That's fine. Looks like I can add another damage mod, which I will do. Oh. So, obviously, this is a traitor. Let's just see if there's anything good to offer. Oh, I've never seen an access key in there before. Sometimes you'll find containers that require an access key. An access key. And for 360 credits, I can get one. But I don't really need to spend my credits, and I'll reveal that why later. Yeah. Let's just go to the jump gate. Jump confirmed. Alright, some nice progress. So here we are, on to Sector 2, and we still have good health, got nanobots if we need it, and we're getting shot at. So barely even see him. Where is this? There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Why is this taking? So many. There we go. Very nice. Always like to get nanobots. I'm, oh wow. Usually I'm always looking for them. I've never had to actually. Wow. Don't even need to use any. Well. Alright, well, 
I guess that's a good thing that I don't need them. I can leave them behind. Oh my gosh. Yes, and I can leave you behind. Damage booster. Over my shield booster. Shield booster is a nice uh, thing to throw on if things get too hot. Oh, this thing is going to try to shoot me right away, isn't it? Credit. Power cell, this compound, go inside and get this container, oh, hack you, there we go. Take care of you too. Some fuel. Mm -hmm. Another container. Well, oh, that's so much further away than I thought. Wow. I mean, look at that. Saturn-like planet with the rings going around it. Missile defense system. Hmm. Destroys all missiles while in a certain range. You know what? Let's go swap it. Oh, not salvage. Swap. And we'll salvage sensor relay. Gotta go for a little bit of survival, you know. Get some plasma from the plasma field. And, I mean, that's the nice thing about hacking those things. So you can blow these things up, get some fuel. Um, obviously, now that we've hacked that uh, comm hub, it'll show us where these things are. Well, that's far away. Well, didn't I just see? Lightning in space. Quite the anomaly. This is the one that has that. It must be, right? That thing's destroyed. Nanobots. Might as well, I'd like just a little, no, not even, oh, I have full health on my hull, so, alright then, 
feels pretty good. Right? Like, how cool is that? Yeah. Hmm. I'm very glad that I decided to give this game another chance. Because, uh, now that I understand it, both the controls and that it's a roguelike, which I've now grown to like, this is a, a nice find, a nice discovery. Let's see. Let's go up the middle. Feels cold in space, doesn't it? All these ice chunk asteroids everywhere. You got that light in the far distance just illuminating on these floating asteroids. It's pretty cool. Some gas. Let's get some gas. Now, how far away is he? Pretty far. Let's check this out. So, those guys are. The G and B light fighter. Pretty sure this station is a G, G and B station, which means that as soon as I shoot this container, they'll go for me. That's the risk. It's a plasma torpedo. Oh. I mean, yeah, I'm losing a lot of this. You know what, we'll hold off for now. We'll get rid of those ones. Put on the shield booster, we're gonna not make it. And that is why uh, I should've left them alone. Man. They really came for me quick on that. Holy crap. I should have kept the torpedo. I could have gotten one at least. Now that we're back at the menu, if you look in the bottom left, I have 3,912 credits. If I go over to my perks, this is where you spend your credits as well. So you can use credits on your run, like at that trader, or the service, and use credits that way, or you can keep them after you die to add permanent perks, perks that will stay with you um, for each run every time you go into, and these are permanent perks for your ship. And here's the caveat, the catch-22. You, know, you get all these credits, but you have to spend them before you launch. Well, you don't have to. You can launch, but you'll lose all these credits. So if I don't spend this money now, I won't get it back. So definitely incentivizes you to use them and search out the upgrades that you want so I can do critical hit damage for 800 I can do critical hit chance for 900 
sector scanner for a thousand crafting costs which will decrease the amount of resources needed for crafting but that's four thousand so we can't do that bonus resources for 500 increase the amount of credits found the credit loot bonus for 2300 rare loot chance can't do that for 5000 under damage and repair we can do the nanobot efficiency for 800 we can do the hit point repair rate for a thousand the component damage chance for 500 decreases the probability of ship component damage lucky jump chance increase the chance of surviving a jump with insufficient fuel unscathed for a thousand So these ones, reputation is locked. Improve your standing with GNB. Requirements, trading, sector scanner. Miscellaneous, those are locked. Reveals the location of your last clone's shipwreck on the map and lets you salvage it. Interesting. That will be nice in the future. These equipment ones are also locked, except for device slots. The amount of different devices your ship can carry. A nice one is a hull hit points. So increase your ship's hull hit points, your health. And as a, I've gotten a four out of the fourteen so far. Also another one is the energy core, energy capacity, and energy regeneration. Both very good. Engine, so increase your speed, increase your boost, and get another jump. So, I have 39, 12 to use I think uh, yeah I think I'm going to upgrade my capacity energy capacity now we have 2300 hmm yeah Nanobot efficiency. So now I have 1500. Is there one that costs more? Oh, there we go. 1550. It's perfect. I'll upgrade my whole hit points. So there's nothing I can do. I'm going to lose those 12 credits. But that's fine. Upgraded a few things, so obviously there's the incentive to get back out, get further, get more, level up, 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 and if you're really lucky, eventually you can unlock this ship for 10,000. Or this one, also for 10,000. You can also use this one. This one is available to you right away. I've just been using this one. On my second run, coming back, I was 122 credits short of getting this. And I have not come close to getting 10,000 on a run again. With more perks, you know, upgrade those things, get further, 
get more, find more, survive longer. So yeah, Everspace is definitely going to be a game that I put some more time into. I'm glad that I decided to give it another chance. Because, lo and behold, it's actually right up my alley. The controls, when you can switch them, work really well for me. So yeah, very surprising, very nice to find out that, hey, I can play this game, I'm not too bad at it. So, just wanted to show you that, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.